Good evening, members and friends of Calvary. It's time for a little early video devotion of the week. Uh, because we were up at camp uh, this week, I had to send this when we had signal. It comes from the book of Isaiah in chapter number 30, verse number 1. He says this, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. He's talking about the country of Judah. They're living in rebellion. God has promised them and threatened them judgment for some time uh, that they're going to have to pay a consequence and uh, for their sin. And so their response when God sends a prophet is uh, uh, verse number nine, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. So uh, uh, don't, don't tell us the truth. We don't, we don't want to hear the truth. Uh, we don't want to uh, uh, hear that kind of preaching. The Bible talks about in the last days that they'll heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they'll not endure sound doctrine. In verse number 11, here's our, our text for tonight. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And they said to the preacher, get out of our way. We don't stay out of our path, stay, stay, stay out of our direction. We don't want to deal with you. We don't want to, we don't want to have you around because cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. When you're standing in front of us doing right and telling us that we're wrong, you're showing us God. You're showing us the Holy One of Israel and we don't want to see him. And so the challenge tonight, I guess, would be twofold. One, if you're the rebellious people and you're getting mad at the messenger, uh, check and see if maybe it's the message that's bothering you. But second, and my main point of emphasis tonight is this, don't expect to be popular. If you're living right and you're doing right, as long as you are standing in the way, you are showing them God. And if they don't want to do right, they don't want to see God. And so don't expect a son, a grandkid, don't expect a neighbor, don't expect a coworker, don't expect our society at large to love us when our very presence of living right and doing right is standing in the way of them and they see God in us. One of the reasons why the devil hates us so much is because we are made in the image of God. And when that image lives out God in front of people, they're not always going to like it. Take heart today. God's pleased whether the world is or not.